I am so happy to be here. Thank you so much. No problem. I love it up here. Uh, Where are you coming from? Atlanta. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. I got you mixed up with that driver over there and I thought, Carlos, so he's driving the wrong car. Um, how often do you pick people up from uh, Mega Bus? I don't actually. Really? First time. Cool. Um, now, uh, the the people that were that are doing the conference were supposed to be. Um, they were supposed to pay me. They were supposed to pay for me today, and they were going to pick me up. But uh, they're going to reimburse me instead. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah, but how long have you lived in Chattanooga? Yeah, been here for four years now. Yeah, I used to live in Atlanta. Where are you from? Uh, so I grew up in Germany. It's an interesting question. I'm, I grew up in Germany because of the military. Oh. I went to Tennessee. Oh. About ten years ago. That is great. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Finally, glad to be off that off that bus. Uh, I don't dare use the bathroom in there. I have no problem going with going potty in there. But the problem is, uh, I got st I almost got stuck in there, and I was banging on that door. Oh no! That whole bus. Um, not not this time. This was two years ago. Yeah. Help! I'm stuck in the bathroom. And then I went up there, and the whole bus heard me shouting. Uh, luckily, I got out of there. So but what conference are you here for? for? Uh, the autism conference. Oh. Hello world, I'm Maya Ryan, and I'd like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. Uh, so far, I've been able to share my own experiences on what it's like to live on the autistic spectrum. The second thing that I will do is give my two cents on autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum, as well as your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, employers. And finally, I will cover topics of things that I'm passionate about, in addition to doing day in the life type blogging. Finally in my room, and I am happy to be here. Happy to have um, a little me time for a while because I spent two hours on the bus, and then I rode a lift back here to uh, this hotel, and then I had a, an important phone call in addition to trying to walk in the room, and. I'll talk about that another time. In the meantime, what I would like to do is give my two cents of what's going on with autism in the media. So recently I had been talking about this in my presentation, Learning Social Skills Through Natural and Paid Supports, and there have been various studies as to what causes social skills deficits, and one of those is on a study in the lacking of vasopressin. And that is a hormone that helps regulate social, uh, or it helps people socialize. And in addition to uh, a lack of development in the prefrontal cortex. Anyway, there's been a study, I guess, and there are people that want to create a medication to give to autistics that will make them more social. And so I read this article and I had a few problems with it. So first and foremost, they said that they were uh, giving a certain amount of uh, participants uh, levels of these medications. Like one of them came through the form of a nasal spray, and the other one was in the form of uh, little tablets that I think that you take. And they tested so many autistics, and they said that they were so social afterwards. Well. Again, I have a few problems with that. So first and foremost, this article was put out by, I believe, uh, spectrumnews.com. And number one, that is not a reliable source. It does not look like a reliable source. There wasn't any references or APA style, um, American Psychological uh, Association to back it up. They also did not seem to pinpoint where the study took place. And that's a big red flag right there. That's a sign that it's bunk. Uh, second thing is uh, that they did was boast about how these vasopressin supplements, medication, whatever they are, are these great miracles. And I was always taught as I moved through a majority of uh, my associates and now my bachelor's degree that anybody who uh, talks about they found this great miracle in the media is absolute bunk. And that kind of an article is absolute bunk. I mean, I know people 
want to do whatever they can to change us, but first of all, you are giving parents false hope and you are giving them the idea that you need to change your autistic child or your autistic adolescent or your adult because you yourself are frustrated. And I want to say a big shame on the media source that put that information in there because again, that's bunk, quack, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just not going to fly with that. Now, uh, I honestly think that an idea of giving an autistic happy pills just to change them, that's a form of ableism right there. Now, I have no problem with teaching individuals on the spectrum social skills because they need it, but there is a time and a place where people seem to uh, enjoy using social skills as an opportunity to manipulate and change somebody because they're scared and they don't know what to do. And this honestly sounds like that. This honestly sounds like the, these researchers are looking at autism like it's some disease. And again, this article had no evidence. It had no pinpoint of where uh, of where these studies took place. It also didn't say who conducted these studies. It just talked about the participants and how many of them were out there. So I have to wonder if that was even true news or if that was fake news. Uh, or somebody was trying to get attention. Because uh, again, there's just a lot of really, 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 really bad false information out there. and. That, ladies and gentlemen, is false information. So anyway, I'm out of time for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this, enjoyed my travels. Uh, I'm going to be here absolutely for the next couple days. So you'll get a chance to see my adventures in Chattanooga. If you like what I'm doing, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Maya Ryan and I'm signing off. Bye. Let's see how hot this is, but it is humid in here. Okay, I don't want to drop this cell phone in here. That's an expensive phone. Ooh, hey. Hey, these steps aren't made out of um, stone. Woo, it feels nice. Mm -hmm. And there's the mountains behind me. It's a little bright with the glare. I need to get a better camera for better shots. But I'm definitely coming in here for a swim, even if I look a little funny tonight or tomorrow.